For this fourth installment of the IT Survival Guide, we'll tell the glorious tale of how John Hollerith, our illustrious IT manager, led a perilous mission to liberate the tiny Nisbot civilization from the dreaded Shodan Empire. So, without further ado, we bring you Chapter 4, The Flexpod Express Rebellion. We must negotiate. Preposterous! They are coming to destroy our planet and eradicate every last one of us. That's enough! Let us hear what Mr. Hollerith has to say. If we implement an infrastructure solution from NetApp and Cisco in every data center in your planet, we will defeat the Shodan Armada. We are a medium-sized civilization. We cannot possibly afford such a robust solution. The entire FlexPod Express stack includes a NetApp storage system, Cisco server and switch, which is easily affordable for any medium-sized civilization. Well then, do what you must. John rushes from the hallowed halls of the Nisbot Council Chamber, flies through the swirling Glutonium wormholes, swims across the great floating lake of Atonia, leaps into the teleportation vortex, and arrives at the site of his favorite channel partner. Listen, the Shodan warships are on their way to wipe out the Nisbots. Can you deliver 10,000 FlexPod Express systems with implementation guides that outline deployment and assembly to their planet ASAP? Consider it done. Oh, cool. Oh, and uh, it's going to get a little crazy up there, so could I have just one point of contact? Sure, please take my business card with you. Perfect, thanks. Excellency, their ships are too fast and powerful. It is just a matter of time. Initiate self-destruction sequence to CME. Luckily, Nisbot spies intercept the transmission and immediately report back to the High Council. Your best-in-class solution easily allows defense users to launch a planetary force field. Daryl, what's your must? That's how FlexPod Express helped the Nisbot civilization defeat the Shodan Armada. Cheers and best of luck to you!